Hey everyone, I'm Johnny, and today we're taking a look at 1944, an Estonian World War II film from 2015. This is in fact the only Estonian film I've seen. Estonia is a small Baltic nation of only 1.3 million people, with an equally small film industry. But despite this, this is an incredibly well-produced film that certainly surprised me. It highlights a significantly bloody and tragic chapter of World War II that is often overlooked. What was it? What was it? Estonia suffered the fate of many nations sandwiched between two massive aggressors, Germany and the Soviet Union, which was brutal occupation. Estonia was occupied by the Soviets, then the German army, then the Soviets again. During each phase, thousands of Estonians would be conscripted to fight for either side, while thousands of partisans also fought for the nation's independence. <laughs> Estonia's first occupation by the Soviets was brutal and included forcing Estonians out of the country for labor and eventual conscription. The Soviets persecuted and murdered thousands with counter-Soviet ideology. This included former Russians who had fled the Russian Revolution some 20 years prior. When Germany invaded Estonia in 1941, the Estonians first greeted them as liberators, but this was not to be the case. Germany's occupation was also brutal and bloody. However, many Estonians would volunteer be drafted, or coerced under threats against their family's land to join the Waffen-SS. The Waffen-SS recruited many non-German Europeans to fight for Germany, primarily those motivated to fight against Soviet ideology. The film's first half follows Estonians fighting as Waffen-SS. In 1944, Estonians were war-wary. Many conscripts and volunteers were attempting to hold the Soviets back before German capitulation, hoping to regain their independence after war's end. This was not to be, and the Soviet army pressed into Estonia with conscripted Estonians from their occupation of the country in 1940, as well as men immediately pressed into service as the Soviet army reoccupied the country. The second half of the film follows the perspective of Estonian Soviet conscripts. The acting in the film is overall quite good, considering none of the actors you'll likely recognize, which I think makes the war scenes more believable. The action scenes and battle sets greatly beat expectations in terms of realism, from the Soviet T-34s to the weapons and uniforms. Those enjoying authentic combat will appreciate the lengthy trench battle at the opening of the film, depicting the Tannenberg line along the Narva front. The film captures the mood of what I believe most of these soldiers would be feeling in 1944, which is that of being trapped by their Soviet or German occupiers, simply trying to survive until the war's end, which they know will be soon, hoping their families exist to return home to. There is little melodrama in the story, and no significant depth given to any character. The film following both Estonian German and Soviet conscripts blends the story well and highlights a shared experience of war by either side. Consider the film a brief introduction to World War II Estonia, which I think is ideal as Estonia's World War II history was complicated, having been occupied three times, all while Estonian forces and partisans fought for independence against both Germany and the Soviet Union. After war's end, Estonians including partisan groups such as the Forest Brothers, continued to fight for independence until 1949, when the resistance was largely crushed. It wouldn't be until the fall of the Soviet Union that the Estonian flag would finally replace the Estonian SSR in the capital. Alright, I'm Johnny. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're looking to watch 1944, it should be available in most countries on Amazon Prime.